Hello viewers, in this video we'll be going over gold miners, ETF ticker symbol, GDX. In this video we'll be going over the day by day probability model, how we find the models and the forecast models for gold miners. So back to the technical analysis, today we are down roughly around 2% on the 1 hour chart. We are heading or approaching negative MACD and as for well, that is the four hour chart, but on the one hour chart, we're currently oversold on the RSI. We are negative on the one hour MACD. If we extend that to the four, or I should say daily chart now, we start to see a slight convergence in play, and we still have a possible support with the 50 day moving average, this yellow line. We are below the 18 and 9 day moving averages if we do manage to close at today's level or current levels at the moment. So I do see the support being around the price of $28 and that also coincides with past resistance. And since we are above resistance that now act as our support. As for Resistance if we do manage to make a reversal the next resistance to that I see is around the price of $29.70 We see that range Starting from early January to now so that is the resistance if we were to reverse and head up higher that price movement is roughly around 4.3% or 4.2% and to the downside it is around 1.5% to the downside. So back to the day by day probability model. Again this model is now available in the link below so do check it out. So as the day progresses we still have a slight favor of gold miners heading higher between 0 to 7% with a 60% chance. On the other hand to the downside we have a 20% chance of gold miners heading 0 to negative 7%. And on a very extreme case, we have a 20% between negative 14 to negative 22%. So that is one of the extreme cases. However, I do see gold miners being in between these two standard deviations. So Let's head to the day by day forecast. So on day one, two days out, three days out, four days out, five days out, six days out, and seven days out. So which one of these models we should focus on? Ideally the model that is the best match to the current trend. The current trend, what we have is here, and below is the trend that I believe is the best match. This trend dates back to May 25th to August 19, 2000. 11 so let me point out why these two charts are similar so what we have here on the current trend we start off above the middle bollinger band and afterwards we see it have sideways price action and then we reach out to touch the upper bollinger band once more and another decent attempt right near the end in between them we see it Revert back to the mean, take a slight dip below the middle Bollinger Band, and then we see today's price action revert back to the middle Bollinger Band once more. So we have those points there. So in the trend in question, we start off above the middle Bollinger Band. And let's just mark all the instances where we touch the upper Bollinger Band. We have one there and lastly right towards the end and in between in this case we do manage to touch the bottom Bollinger Band but we'll consider that as a dip below the middle Bollinger Band and next we see it revert back to the mean right towards the very end so we have those points there so what we have is one two three four five points we also have one, two, three, four, five points. So there's reason to believe that the trends and patterns are the same. The outcome and forecast should be fairly the same. So the model that we just examined was May 25th, 
May 25th to August 19th, 2011. Back then, gold miners was up around 2.6%. So if we head back to the day-by-day -day probability model, it does coincides with the 60% chance between 0 to 7%. So again, this model is now available in the link below, so do check it out. If you enjoyed this content, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and thank you for watching.